Shalom to you all our friends and family who are watching and listening today. It's Sunday morning and once again a day that the Lord has made. And what has been carrying us as a family and me personally is trusting that every day is in the hands of my Father. Every day is in the hands of my beloved King. And the Holy Spirit who guides and leads us, who daily reveals more of our Father's heart. And I love that. We pray, I pray every morning and I say, Thy will be done. And I'm trusting Him that His will is greater than my own. And if you are listening and watching, I pray that the Lord will encourage you this Sunday. It's morning where we are recording. Megan and myself. But whenever you are watching this, where there's a lot of confusion and a lot of fear that have gripped the world, the Lord wants you and me to come in. The Lord wants you and me to be with Him. Our Lord wants us to spend time with Him and fellowship with Him. Because in times of fellowship, we share our stories, we share our heart, we share our position and who we are and where we come from and what we are planning and where we are going. Whenever I come in and I spend time with my Father and my King and the Lord, He continues to share through His Word where He comes from, who He is, what He's going to do. And He even shares my position with me and says, You don't have to fear. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be anxious. You don't have to worry. You don't have to spend most of your time considering what is going to happen in the future. Like we have mentioned before, and obviously many others, there is a lot of confusion out there. As a matter of truth, I don't think the world knows exactly what is busy happening themselves. I don't think leaders in this world They don't know what is happening, how things will work out, and how things will play out. We don't know what the future holds. But our peace lies in this, that we know who holds the future. And it's not just a slogan that Christians throw out there. It is precisely and literally how we live, how we are supposed to live, knowing who holds the future, not what is the future. And once again, 
every morning when we start our day with the Lord and we start our day in prayer and in worship, when I wake up and I say, good morning, Father, I will trust in your ways and I will trust in your word and I will trust in your truth and I will trust in your heart and I will trust in your wisdom and I'll trust in your spirit I'll trust in you then my heart changes I can embrace the day I can embrace what God is about to do for us, for me for Megan, for Teresa for you, your family your loved ones, we can embrace what God is about to do for us. He's the God who will send the ravens, who will part the Dead Sea, the Red Sea, any sea. He will multiply fish and bread. He will speak to the wind and the storm. He will open the eyes of the blind and the lame will walk again and the deaf will hear his garden, his will be done. For many years he could pass the beggar who sits there lame at the gate beautiful. And just one day Peter will show up and he will say to this man who is lame, who is poor, who is broken, I do not have silver, I do not have gold, but what I have in the name of Jesus, stand up, rise up. We never know when that day comes. Thy will be done. And in our time of worship, this Sunday, this day that the Lord has made, this day that is in His hands, this day in which He reigns, this day in which He rules, He reminds His people, He reminds all people, the saved and the lost, that He loves us, that He cares, that He deeply, deeply, deeply loves us. He loves you. Exalt your name and 
your name alone. All our trust, not most of it, but all our trust is in you. We have seen you make ways where man cannot make a way. In our family, we have seen your hand at work. We have seen and felt your heart at work. We have tasted your goodness. Through many, many storms we have come, but you have always taken us through, and we know that you will take us through this one as well. Our prayer for one another. If in your heart you feel to pray for us, for our family, pray that we will have courage and be bold in the word of the Lord. Pray that fear will never overcome us but that we overcome through Christ for his glory. We pray that this will be a day that you will enjoy. This will be a day where you will take courage and be encouraged. This will be a day where the word of the Lord will be the light that goes out before you. Be the light to your path. We pray that today the word of the Lord will keep you, sustain you, encourage you, fill you in our worship today. In this time of worship. Be encouraged. Let hope rise up and faith rise up and joy rise up and peace rise up. Peace that this world can never offer us. Whatever stage of lockdowns we go in, the world has changed. Things are different out there. through history the world has always changed I think there's a saying that says there are only two things that we are certain of the one is death and the other one is change but for those that are in Christ death has no sting anymore changes around us he doesn't change he's still completely 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 in control and whatever you are facing whatever giant is standing in front of you today you are working through, whatever pain you are suffering, you have a Abba, a Father, you have a shepherd, you have a king, you have a bridegroom who is calling you, holding you, comforting you leading you, guiding you. He will walk with you all the way. He will stay with you all the time. He will not depart and he will not leave you. Often in our worship I say to Meg and I, I wish I could find words that are strong enough to comfort many and we speak to many and 
we receive messages and mails. And we perceive that there are many that are going through a really rough, tough season, a tough time. Tough in their families, tough in their circumstances, tough in their finances, tough in their personal courage. I hope this message will not be ours because I cannot really bring across what I feel in my heart that the Lord feels for you and me for us as a family you what I do know is I chose again today to lay down my life for him and lay down my rights and lay down my personal fear my lack of faith and turn to him and his wonderful glorious face and turn to his word his word that never changes Shalom Jesus says in John 16 I think it's verse 33. In this world you will have many troubles, but take heart. I have overcome. Take heart, I have overcome. For you. For me. So today as a family, we will bow our knees. We will enjoy the presence of the Lord. We will enjoy each other's company. We will pray before we have our meal. And we will thank the Lord for His provision. thank him for salvation we will hold hands as we pray as a family our children and our grandchildren and our parents Teresa's father and mother who is also my father and mother we will join hands and glorify the Lord. And we will live this day to its fullest. There will be times today that I will just come into the room, shut the door. I will read the word of the Lord. And I will be encouraged by His word. I will spend time just worshipping Him in song. I will listen to music. And I will find time to listen to Him. your 
faith, your hope, your truth. You will minister redemption, salvation. Peace of Christ keep you. 